Hello there, this is Teacher Josie. Today we are going to discuss the non Mendelian pattern of inheritance. In Science 8, you have discussed that cells divide to produce new cells, and meiosis is one of the processes during genetic variations in Mendelian patterns of inheritance. This video focuses on achieving this learning competency, explain the different non Mendelian patterns of inheritance. After going through this video, you are expected to Explain the incomplete dominance pattern of inheritance Describe codominant traits And determine all possible combinations of genes for a specific blood type Let's get started Before we proceed, let us start with unlocking difficulties These are the terms that you will encounter all throughout the lessons Genetics. It is a branch of biology concerned with the study of genes, genetic variation, and hereditary in organisms. Inheritance. It is a process by which genetic information is passed on from parent to child. Variation. Any difference between cells, individual organisms, or groups of organisms of any species. Gene. It is a unit of heredity, a section of DNA that codes for specific traits. Genotype and phenotype. Let us differentiate between genotype and phenotype. Genotype is the genetic makeup of organism. It is the combination of two alleles. While phenotype, it is a physical feature or trait of an organism. Let's have an example of genotype and phenotype to understand better their difference. We have here two flowers of 4 o'clock flower. What is the genotype of the first flower? The genotype is FRFR, the combination of the two alleles. How about the other one? The genotype is FWFW, the genetic makeup of organisms. What about the phenotype? The first flower has a red phenotype because it is the color and its appearance. While the other one, white, is the phenotype. It is the physical feature or trait of an organism. Do you understand now the difference between genotype and phenotype? Let's proceed to the next. Homozygous. This means having two identical alleles of a particular gene. Heterozygous, this means having two different alleles of a particular gene. A Punnett square is a graphic representation of the possible genotypes of an offspring arising from a particular cross or breeding event. Reginald Punnett is the proponent of Punnett square. Next, Non-Mendelian inheritance. This type of inheritance wherein the patterns of phenotypes does not coincide with those that laws presented in the Mendelian law of inheritance. Now let us discuss the three types of non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance. The first type of non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance is incomplete dominance. It is a form of intermediate inheritance in which one allele does not completely dominate another allele resulting in a new phenotype. Let's have an example of incomplete dominance. We have here a red snapdragon flower. A red snapdragon flower cross to white snapdragon flower and the result is pink snapdragon flower. One allele does not completely dominate another allele, resulting to a third or new phenotype, and that is pink flower. Let me show you how it happens using a Punnett square. As you can see, the genotypes of snapdragon flowers are FRFR for the red flower and FWFW for white flower. Let us cross using Punnett square let us cross the genotype frfr downward then the genotype fwfw sideward so these are the result now let us identify the genotype 
Always remember, each box is equal to 25%. As you can see, all the genotype are the same. F R F W. So the genotype is 100% F R F W. The phenotype is the physical appearance. Now, the result of the cross of red snapdragon flower and white snapdragon flower is 100% pink snapdragon flower. That's how we use Panic Square. Let's have another example. Show the possible outcomes of the cross between white and pink flower. Not FP, FP because pink flower is originated from red and white flower. That is why the genotype is FRFW. Now, let us cross the white and pink flower so we have here the result. 2FRFW and 2FWFW. What do you think is the genotypes? The genotypes are 50% FRFW and 50% FWFW. What about phenotypes? What is the meaning of FRFW? That is pink flower. What about FWFW? That is white flower. Therefore, our phenotypes are 50% white flower and 50% pink flower. Did you understand now incomplete dominance? Let us now proceed to the next. The second non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance is codominance. Both alleles are expressed equally in the phenotype of the zygote. Example, a red flower crossed to white flower. The result is red and white flower. Both alleles or both appearance are expressed equally. Let's express this in a Punnett square. A red flower has a genotype of FRFR. A white flower has a genotype of FWFW. And the result is 4FRFW. Therefore, the genotypes is 100% FRFW. And the phenotypes is 100% red and white. Did you understand now codominance? Let's have an activity. Identify the following as incomplete dominance or codominance. A standard poodle cross to Labrador. What do you think would be the result? Labradoodle and that is incomplete dominance. A white chicken cross to a black chicken. The result is checkered. And that is codominance. An orange four cat cross to a black four cat. The result is orange and black four. What do you think is the type of non Mendelian pattern of inheritance? That is codominance. A straight hair cross to a curly hair, the result is wavy hair, that is incomplete dominance. Good job! Next, multiple alleles, a single gene that has more than two alleles. One good example is the blood type. Do you know your blood type? There are four blood types, type O, type AB, type A, type B. Which do you think is your blood type? The blood type has an antigen. Antigen is any substance that causes your immune system to produce antibodies against it. Blood type A has an Antigen A. Blood type B has an antigen B. 
Blood type AB has an antigen AB, while blood type O has no antigen. The genotype of blood type A is IA, IA, or IA and small letter I. A capital letter I means dominant and small letter I means recessive. Blood type B has a genotype of IB, IB, or IB and small i. Blood type O has two small letter i, means it is recessive. Blood type AB has a genotype IA and IB. Both are dominant. Blood type A can donate blood to type A, type AB, and can receive blood type from type A and type O. Blood type B can donate blood to type B and type AB. It can receive blood type from blood type B and blood type O. Blood type AB can donate blood to blood type AB. It can receive blood type from blood type AB and O. Blood type O can donate blood type to type A, type B, type AB, and type O, but can only receive blood type from type O. As you can see, AB it can receive from type A, type B, type AB, and type O. That's why it is called universal blood receiver. While type O can donate to any blood type, that's why blood type O is considered universal donor. Given the blood types of the mother and the child, identify the possible blood type of the father. Mother's blood type is blood type A and the child's blood type is type A. What do you think is the father's blood type? The answer is blood type A and O. If a mother's blood type is type B and the child's blood type is type AB, what is the father's blood type? That is type A, type B, type AB, and type O. If a mother's blood type is type AB and the child's blood type is type B, what do you think is the father's blood type? The answer is type A, type B, type AB, and O. If a mother's blood type is type O and the child's blood type is type O, what do you think is the father's blood type? That is O. Good job! To sum up, the types of non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance are Incomplete dominance, it is a form of intermediate inheritance in which one allele does not completely dominate another allele, resulting in a new phenotype. Codominance, both alleles are expressed equally in the phenotype of the heterozygote. And multiple alleles, a single gene that has more than two alleles. Thank you for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!